In education, there are three steps to course development, training scheme design, course design and definition of course content. Training scheme design provides a means to modernise organisations and management. In universities, implementing the system of BSc to MSc and PhD is an example. Course design aims to provide and evaluate a defined level of impact. Creating a course alternating apprenticeship and study is the work of course designers. To define course content, you must choose the appropriate methods and tools to transmit the required skills. For training scheme design, you will need to make contact with the ministry, professionals from the sector, the finance services and the teams of managers. When designing a course, the contacts are the commissioning groups, which could be a company director, project managers, consultants or trustees, and the teams of directors. To define course content, we need to interact with the teams of directors and the teaching staff and the learners who will be benefiting from the training. Training scheme design involves finding the right resources to achieve the predefined social goal, using efficient learning methods and a structure with coherent work methods, resources and institutions to reach the specific groups of learners while respecting their context. Course design is the harmonizing of several procedures united to create the final specifications which will lead to fulfilling the needs successfully. This means understanding who is in need of training, what training is required, how the course can be organised, how the course can be managed and how the outcome can be evaluated. This gives us the full circle of analysis of issues and solutions. Course content can be defined thanks to pooling information and knowledge of existing methods and tools between educators, students and the teams of project managers and also through innovating, creating new solutions to fit specific groups of learners.